guys can fit guys can fan the channel. This is cooking in my PJs. Uh, this is me showing you how to make gravy. Now there's three different types of gravy. Okay. There's poultry gravy and pork gravy actually falls under that category. Uh, uh, that gravy, uh, you actually add a little milk to. You want to cream that gravy up. Now, this beef gravy, beef gravy you do not cream up. And beef gravy I add a little Worcestershire Shire sauce to. Which, yeah, that tongue twisting work. And then there is um, uh, pan gravy. Pan gravy is the only gravy that you add, actually will make a paste to thicken that gravy because you're going to thicken the pan drippings themselves. That's the three different types of gravy. Okay. I got this in my hand. Okay. You see I'm melting down this butter. Now all gravy except the, uh, except the pan gravy like any other sauce, because gravy is like a sauce you want to start out with the roux. And my roux is always butter and, and flour. I'm going to melt that butter down. Um, over here, in this container right here, I have, see that nice gel? This right here, this is what happens when you put, when you put a base in the fridge, it gels up like this. But that, this is a, a turkey base. A turkey base that I, that I stuck in my fridge. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, a, a poultry gravy. I'm gonna show how to make a poultry gravy using my turkey base. Okay. Using a wooden spoon for now, however, I'm going to get the whisk out because the whisk is what you need. The whisk right here is what you need to make a nice roux. Okay. Now I'm going to try to set this camera on here. I'm going to have it down. Stays. I hope it stays. I have a little bit of the thing on here. Right. And carefully. I hope I want my camera to fall. But uh, best I can do. Now you can still see the pan and see what I'm doing here. All right. I'm gonna add three of these. I'm going to make a nice roux. It's hot. I got the heat on 7. You want that heat hot. See, now, see what I'm doing? I'm cooking that roux down. See? It's a nice, nice roux. Now, if you're going to make a beef gravy, which I'm going to show you next, I'm actually going to show the beef gravy next. Um, I'm going to make that roux extremely, extremely dark. Okay, I'm going to show you all three gravies in this video. I'm starting out with the poultry gravy. Poultry slash pork gravy. You can either use a poultry base, or you can use, uh, you know, pork base. If you just take the drippings, uh, just take the, the pan drippings and dump it in here. Unless you're making the natural pan, but that's going to be the last one I make. So I'm going to get this nice and cooked up. Now really I want to cook this for 10 minutes. Season. Everything you do, you want to season. 
You hear my voice. But everything you do, you can see my hand, I think. You want to season. So cooking that down. Yep. Now I'm going to add this gel. And yes, you can you can keep the bases. I mean, you can keep the bases and, and you know put them in containers, put them in your fridge. You can use them to make gravies. Like like sometimes you might sometimes you might make uh, a new pot fried chicken. You don't have a lot of drippings up. They you can just keep mixing those drippings together, make a nice little gel. You see, you can, you can see that meat and everything I got in here. See now, now it's starting to gravy up. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want that in that heat for a while. I'm going to stir this for an entire 10 minutes, so I'm going to turn off the camera and, and, and I'm going to see what happens like 10 minutes later. Alright, look at this, look at this, look how thick that is, look how thick that is. That's what a gravy is supposed to be, it's a sauce. It's supposed to be thin, liquid, well a natural pan is a little thin, but I'll, I'll explain that in the video next uh, uh later on when i in the last part of the video but look how thick that is that's after 10 minutes of cooking this base down and see how nice and light this gravy is you want poetry and pork gravy to be very light you want it to be light a light brown color that's what you want that's what you want to see when you make a poultry or a pork gravy now I like to mix all the flavors together and cream it up and really that's really what you're supposed to do. That's what I was always taught and I, I am a saucier and, and you want to cream this up. I'm not going to tell you about that. I, I have a cup of milk here. Okay. Now I'm not going to just pour that cup of milk in there. I'm going to put it in the microwave. And, and I'm gonna nuke I'm gonna nuke the milk um, uh, for like uh, two minutes why am I doing that? well I'm nuking the milk for two minutes because you, wanna, you don't want to put cold liquids into the warm gravy and then it's going to take a long time to get thick like this again I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, okay. See my milk? It's steaming. It's nice and warm. I'm going to pour it in there and stir it. You want to stir this constantly when you're pouring that milk in. Maybe we'll thin out for a minute and then it will then it will get thick. See a nice consistency to it. I'm not pouring it all in at once. See I'm I'm cooking it in, I'm stewing it in. I'm, I'm getting, this is making gravy. It, it, it's it's an art making any type of sauce is an art people think think oh I'm just gonna add flour to this and throw the gravy together no making gravy it's an you're making a sauce 
you know, as a saucier, this is this is my art. This is what I specialized in. This is what I did for 12 years. Look at that. Look at that nice gravy. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Moving on up towards the camera. Look at that. Mm. That's it. That's poultry gravy. See how nice consistency it is? Nice and light. That's how you do poultry gravy. Next will be beef. I got this nice creamy poultry gravy. You get that nice consistency. Now, <clears throat> got a piece of bread right here. Oops, don't want that spoon in the bun. I got a piece of bread right here. Uh, my next video is going to be on my new uh, my new uh, oven. I was lucky to get the stove top part to work without it blowing out because this thing uh, 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 shorted out the uh, the oven doesn't work at all um, but my next uh, cooking video my next cooking my PJs will be me um, making my requested video beef and corn pie it's almost like a shepherd's pie but it's not a, a shepherd's pie and I'll explain that in the video that's going to be my next one but you take a nice piece of bread with some gravy on it look at Look at how beautiful that looks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is it, baby. Mm. Bread and gravy. Mm. That's delicious. See you in the next part. All right, beef gravy. You can see it's the same thing. Taking the roux. This is going to be darker. They're going to add the Worcestershire to it. Now I made a broth. I, I didn't have any beef drippings, so they can make a broth. And broth, broths are good, you know. Just take some beef base and and put it in there. And you can use the broth to make a gravy out of as well. Or you can just heat up a broth and, and have some nice broth in the in the winter time to uh, um, make it feel better, like uh, chicken broth. And chicken broth makes a nice base for a chicken soup. You can make the broth, and then you can make the uh, 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 put some noodles in it. And uh, okay, so uh, the same thing I'm doing here. And I'm going to add Worcestershire to this and let it make it dark. Now look, look how dark that roux is getting. See, it's not going to be light. I want this to get really, really, really dark. And the longer you cook a roux, I think I'm off camera, the longer you cook a roux, the darker it gets. That's the secret. The longer you cook a roux, the darker it gets. And a nice brown gravy. The beef gravy is nice and brown. Really dark. And no, you do not add milk to this gravy. You don't cream a beef gravy because uh, it, it just doesn't taste right. But you want to cream the pork you gave you and it puts all that flavor together. Now there is an exception. Now you can kind of cream a beef base a little bit. Uh, like if you're making um, SOS. You know, and sometimes you can make a little beef base uh, cream it up and then add the chip beef to it. But I prefer to make a bechamel when I make my SOS. Bechamel is a cream sauce and then I add the uh, chip beef to the cream sauce and put it over toast. But this is it. 
So it's not going to get really dark for the video that I'm just showing you on the video. Um, you know, I, I can kick this. There's a trick to really, really make it extremely, uh, you know, extremely dark. Um, take this roux and put it in a little container, oven safe container, and, and actually cook that roux in the oven. And well, we used to do this in, in the Navy and cook that in the oven for like a half hour. Could you not? Just let it cook. On the pulled out, it was like really, really dark, and it made a nice, rich, dark gravy. As I'm standing here looking through my camera, <laughs> it's my hand pulling this wood, this block in. Not a big portion of beef gravy, but uh, see. See the difference between the beef gravy? See how see how thought, thick it got already? See how thick it got already? Alright. Alright. Now beef gravy, all you gotta do is add water to it. Okay, all I gotta do to this is just add add water to it uh, as I got my my pan here. Put it on the hot water and just add the water. You can make it the consistency you want. It's, you can make it the consistency you want. Now, the bubble, to boil this and to bubble it, you don't want to boil a cream gravy because then the milk will curdle. With a beef gravy, you can really boil and really bubble it. And when it bubbles, when you boil it up for like three minutes bubbling, that's going to really bring out the flavor. I mean, I wish I had like a, a big stand and everything else and and like a, a, a production crew to hold the camera for me and you know like you know like a superstar like reach away or something like that but I'm not I just have an old stove for now stove top which I got working for this video and like I said the next video will be in my with my new oven it should be here tomorrow Anyway, you get the idea. You're gonna cook it down, you're gonna get it darker. See, it is getting darker. And that's part two. That's the, the beef gravy. I'm not gonna sample this one. Uh, I ate three pieces of to uh, bread on the, on the chicken gravy, the, the turkey gravy, the poultry. Oh man, it was good. Okay. Thanks for watching so far. Okay. Well, this is the last part of the video of uh, pan gravy. So you got some pan drippings here from pork that I, that I made. Right? And you're just going to add uh, some flour and water and you make what they call a paste. And you made your paste before. And that's, that's pretty much all you're going to do with the pan gravy. This is the only gravy you want to make a paste for. You know. And then I would stir it, thickens up, and like I said, this isn't going to be as thick as the other gravies, but 
That's basically the gravy video. I talked about how to make poultry slash pork gravy with, with the cream, how to make uh, dark beef gravy, and, 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 and just thickening drippings from a pan using a paste. It's, that's, that's the gravies. Uh, comment down below uh, suggestions for next cooking videos. The next one's going to be uh, uh, beef and corn pie. And uh, comment any other ideas. Thanks for watching.